My husband, Michael, y'all, loves soup. He could eat soup three times a day. And that sounds so strange to me because he's such a big man. You know, he doesn't look like he would uh, get off on soups, but he does. Well, he had to go to the doctor. I didn't have a procedure. And I told him, I said, I want to make you uh, some kind of Italian soup, maybe with like a chicken broth or something like that. And he said, well, why are you doing that? <laughs> I said, because I didn't know if being put to sleep was gonna uh, affect you. So he said, no, I'm fine. <laughs> so I never made it. And Teresa brought me this recipe that was in my file for Italian chicken soup. So it was like destined for me to make this. So here we go. And uh, it, it's on my website. I don't know if it's one of my cookbooks or not. I can't remember. But anyway, you can go on Facebook to get it. Now I'm starting out with cut up chicken breast. breast and I'm browning those off. Just getting them ready to add the other stuff. This is a very simple soup. And Casey, one of the young ladies that works in our office, we've been together for years. She's so sweet and got two of the most beautiful little children you've ever seen. Well, when Teresa was talking about this week's recipes that we're going to make, Casey said, OMG, Teresa, I just made that. And she said, it is out of this world. So I wonder if her children ate it too. Oh yeah. Yay. Usually only things that her Oh, that's good. So thank you, Casey. Thank you for everything you do for our team. Uh, cause we love you. I've known Casey since she was a teenager, long before she married. Uh, when all the girls be hanging out at the beach in them cute little tiny swimsuits. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add my onion. I'm gonna add my carrots. I'm gonna add my zucchini. You know, to me, I find this real strange. Uh, cloud for the triplets she cooks zucchini all the time for those babies and they pick it up Eddie and eat it like it is candy and I mean it looks like maybe she's just sauteed it a little Real bit quick. yeah I mean it's soft but it just amazes me to see those little babies well they're not babies anymore but to see those children lap up zucchini. All right, now, I don't think the recipe calls for this, but anytime I'm making an Italian dish, I'm gonna bump it up with Italian seasoning. That's like always. So you can see this is a very clean soup. Got a lot of things in it that are good for you. Mm, 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 mm. So, now I'm going to add uh, two 14 and a half ounce cans of tomatoes. And I've got the diced tomatoes and uh, they have the basil, the garlic, and the oregano already in them. So, we're going to get a, a nice little Italian uh, boost from that. This one also has the basil, the garlic, and the oregano. Okay, but you like to you like to use crushed. I do. I like crushed tomatoes, but uh, I think maybe using a recipe like this one, the diced may be better. It might give it a little bit more body than the crushed would. So. Yeah, I, I always buy crushed tomatoes. I just like them. 
All right, so it called for 28 ounces or two cans this size of chicken broth. So, in that goes, you know, most soups I make are a little bit more troublesome, troublesome than this one. This one's just so simple, so easy, and so delicious. So we're gonna cook this uncovered for about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna dig in. Our Italian chicken and vegetable soup looks wonderful, y'all. It's been a long time since I've made this too. And you know, I have always suggested that the first time you use a recipe to go right by the directions, but then the next time make it your own. Cause that's what I do. <laughs> I have trouble following my own recipes, y'all. Uh, Cause you never know how you're feeling when you get in the kitchen to make that dish. So I did exactly like the recipe was written so many years ago, but I did add a couple of bay leaves to it. But it's just just exactly uh, right by the recipe. But there's a lot of ways you could change this one up a little bit, y'all. Uh, one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna tear me up a little fresh basil and put on top of it. And in the recipe, I tell y'all to put a little Parmesan cheese on top of your soup when you're ready to serve. So look how delicious that looks. And you know, Eddie looked at it and he said, I'd put pasta in it. <laughs> you know what? And it would be so good. But uh, this just seems like such a nice, healthy way to have a hot, hearty meal. If I can keep my hands off the French bread. <laughs> this looks just delicious. And it is so hot. I think I want a little bit more Parmesan cheese, Eddie. <laughs> you know, I'm the condiment girl. I love me some condiments. Mmm. Ooh, Eddie. It's. Mmm. It smells wonderful. It's just rich with flavor. Oh, and I did do something else. Even though my diced tomatoes had basil, oregano, and basil. No, it had, I can't remember what it had, but anyway, it was, it was herb, herb diced tomatoes. Um, I added Italian seasoning to it because I just feel like if you're cooking in an Italian dish, Italian seasonings always in order. Mmm. And the fresh basil that I just put in there. I mean, I feel like I could run five miles. I'm eating so heavy. I mean, not, I mean so light. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I said that because I'm used to eating heavy, but. I feel like I'm eating so healthy. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Loving best dishes, y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>